Hey Hunter Nation, welcome back to another video and I'm your host Hunter Tom, back again with a new video. Now in this video I want to give you guys a bit of news of what's going on. First off, I want to say I bought myself my first PCP. Now that's really awesome for me because I've never owned PCP and it's my first time getting into PCPing so I hope it's going to be lots of fun. But in order to do that, I have to sell quite a few guns. Now my gun collection, well at least my air gun collection, has grown quite big. I have an M4177, Daisy Red Rider, Ruger Explorer, a UMRX XBG, so I have quite a few air guns. But in order to buy my new PCP, I want to bring like the cost of buying it down quite a bit. So I'm basically going to sell some of my air guns. Now I'm going to be selling, like I said, my Red Rider, my M4177, and my Ruger Explorer. But that's probably only going to bring the price down by a couple hundred dollars. So what I'm going to sell is my new Benjamin Trail Nitro Piston 2. Now the reason why I'm selling this gun is because I just can't find the accuracy with this. Um, as much as it's a good gun and there's so many good reviews about it, I just can't, like, I don't like the gun. I mean, I like how it feels and I like how it's heavy and strong and just like, it feels nice to hold, but the accuracy is just not there for me. So I'm gonna have to sell this guy, even though I like it a lot, it's just not working out for me. So I'm gonna have to use um, a ben a, another PCP basically for when I go hunting. Cause this is, doesn't work for me. And PCPs are a bit more accurate than break barrels. You don't have to have the whole um, artillery hold when you hold the gun. So, yeah, I'm just gonna buy, I, like, I've already bought uh, my PCP, and if you're wondering what it is, it's a Benjamin Maximus. Probably one of the cheaper ones you can get. I mean, it came with a pump, and I don't want something that's crazy, like, over expensive, because I know most of the people that are watching my videos aren't using super expensive air rifles to hunt. So I wanted to make sure that you could fill it up easily with, like, a small, um, a small air tank or a small um, hand pump. So I bought a hand pump with my, well it was a kit, it's a Benjamin Maximus pump kit, um, entry level kit. So I don't know when it's coming in, it's on back order right now, so it'll be arriving someday or another. But yeah, I'm gonna have to sell a few of my guns just, just to bring the, the, like, the price of, of the gun down because it, it is kind of expensive. I think it came out to like 470, um, or like maybe 350 US for um, for just just the entry level kit, so I don't even have a scope, so I'm gonna have to buy another like $200 for a scope. So hopefully by selling these air rifles, I'm basically gonna be able to bring that price down like a whole bunch, just cause I don't, like a lot of these guns, I don't shoot the M4177 very often. I mean, it's there, it's not my favorite gun, it's kind of cheaply made, so I'm, I'm just gonna sell it for a fairly low price. Uh, the Daisy Red Rider, still pretty, it feels cheap. I I'm, I don't use it. I like to use a great Daisy Grizzly. It's, it's one of my favorite favorite BB guns out there. I mean, it's just so fun. You just pick it up, fill it up with BBs, and pump it up and shoot. It's, it's just a really simple and easy gun to use. Um, Ruger Explorer, I've used it quite often. Um, I've had it for, like, I think five years now, so it's time to sell it. Um, I've hunted with it. Hunted. I've shot, like, very small game with this, so uh, it worked well as when I've had it, and uh, it's definitely strong if, if you're shooting in a couple yards like I wouldn't go further than 10 yards I've already reviewed this gun uh, earlier this month but uh, yeah selling this gun too and lastly well like I said before the Benjamin Trail Nitro Piston 2 is just it's just not for me like my friend has the exact same gun in synthetic stock and it just doesn't deliver like what I want I mean it's got yes a silented uh, a fully moderated barrel I think it's fully moderated at least it's got the big uh, moderator on it. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it worked for him, but it didn't, it's not working for me. I want something that's maybe just a little, little more powerful. Um, I mean, the Maximus isn't more powerful, but I can at least rely on it being accurate and I don't have to hold it any special way. It's kind of like a regular, um, rim fire rifle. I just slap a scope on it, get it dialed in, put a scope cam on it and hopefully, ha um, have a good setup with that. So yeah, anyways. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye bye. I really can't wait for my Maximus to come in. Anyways, see you guys.